secret weapon that the top producers are using are guitar pedals. Now, guitar pedals have been around for a while, but they're fairly new within our community. It's just a really cool way to process your samples, and you can make these really warm analog sounds that are really hard to recreate on regular plugins. I got a couple guitar pedals with me right now, so how about we make something nice? Okay, let's make a sample, and I'm gonna kinda just throw in the pedals so you can see what they do. Alright, we gotta use a pedal. God damn. Right now, I'm gonna use this shallow water pedal by Fairfield Circuitry. If you can focus, that'd be so damn good. There it is. This is a chorus modulation pedal. Um, I wanna use this on the E piano, so the first thing I'm gonna do is print this to audio. All right, doesn't sound like anything because nothing's turned on. Let's bring the rate and the depth up. Now you can really hear it. The pitch modulation in this one is random. That's why it creates this really organic wobble sound. Now, if you wobble it enough and you bring down the mix, now you get this chorus effect. So that's what I kind of want. So I'm thinking taking the guitar and the E piano, just pan one left, pan one right. <laughs> okay, next pedal. This pedal is also by Fairfield Circuitry. It's called the Meat Maud. Jesus. Uh, this is a delay. All right, let's turn it on. Turn up the feedback. This kind of adds like wobble modulation. It's a little too harsh, so I'm gonna keep it in the middle. Might be cool to add like little piano. I know what I'm doing, next pedal. Okay. Stop. Oh my goodness. This one is Thermae by Chase Bliss Audio. Come on, just. Focus. This one is an analog delay slash pitch shifter. Since it messes with the pitch, you can create these really cool trippy textures. So I want to kind of put that on this piano solo, kind of just sprinkle that in the background. First thing I got to do is tap the tempo. And then... Yeah, see, you can hear what's going on. Yeah, so we can change the speed and the depth here. Let's bring it up one octave. Now we just gotta find the best parts of all the stuff I recorded. For these ones, since there's a lot more manipulation, you really gotta find those perfect little moments. I might just have time. That, that sounds amazing. That note, hate it. Ooh. That's 
disgusting. In that first section where it's just the vocals and the bass, I'm gonna run the chorus pedal again. Cause this thing records in mono. I kinda want it to sound, you know, nice and compact and then just have everything open up stereo with all the voices and the panning. And if I did this right, this should drop beautifully. That's pretty satisfying. <laughs> One more pedal we have to look at. And the reason I didn't use it in the sample is because it's kind of different. This is Blooper by Chase Bliss Audio. And this is a looping pedal. This one has so many functions and parameters that you can kind of manipulate the sample in a crazy way. And it's kind of just chaos. So what I like to do is whenever I finish the sample, I run it through this and I flip it into a new sample. First thing I gotta do is record it. Three, four. Just using the metronome to give me the tempo. One, okay, two, three, and eh, eh. So now, it's not playing, it's playing within the pedal because it's a looper. And now we can start fiddling around with it. Right now I'm just listening for bounce. And if I find this pocket that I like, then I run with that, we make a new sample. Oh, there's stuff here. With that reverse. So we just got a whole lot of information and now we just kind of got to sift through it. Let's go with this one. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. I have to give a big thank you to Fairfield Circuitry and Chase Plus Audio for sending the pedals. The ones I use are gonna be linked in the description. There's tons of really great pedals out there with a bunch of different effects. In terms of the price, it's definitely up there, but it do be sounding different though. If you can afford it, definitely take a look at it. That's about it for now. Love you guys and I'll see you guys soon. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here.